I know this is a bit much for the beach, but listen, I could meet my future ex-husband. You don't know, so might as well look cute doing it. I'm just saying. Hey guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel for those who missed me for a bit. Welcome to those who are new to my channel. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. I do have a listing of foundation reviews on my channel. You can hit that playlist and check it out. I will put the link below for those who are interested. But today I'm here to review the new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I know that is like a lot and I've seen all of YouTube like rave about this. I've seen Jackie I know review it, Desi Perkins review it, anybody who is anybody on YouTube review it. Of course they had like, they were sent the full line makeup, line foundation line but I went out and spent my $49 to get it, you know, and I am such a big fan of the NARS brand, like I have everything from NARS, I have NARS primer, I have NARS blushes, I have NARS liquid lipsticks, I have NARS lipsticks, I have NARS blushes, I have NARS concealers. Anything NARS you can think I have and I just love NARS So of course, you know, like To get a new foundation is like a duh, you know, because I do have the NARS Shea Glow foundation, which I do love Only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a pump, but we'll get over it, you know and the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless foundation now I did pick up my typical shade in this foundation which is Cadiz but I know there are some new in between shades now I think there are like two new shades between my pale shade which is Tahoe and Cadiz you know so I mean I might even be tempted to check those out when you know I start to shed my tanning situation and whatnot but in the meantime I did use Cadiz and I find it's a perfect match for me. What I love about the NARS line, particularly with the foundations, is the fact that it's so all-encompassing that women of color, you know, could find a close enough match to the skin tone. I have a very golden undertone, and the shade I did pick up is described as a medium dark three with golden undertones, you know. And it matches me perfectly. Like, can you tell I have on foundation? Like, really? So, if you want to see my thoughts on this bad boy, stay tuned. So, I am going to the beach today, and you're wondering, oh my god, beach with makeup. But that's a good place to like test it because you're out in the elements and you're the piping hot sun. So I am using my L'Oreal Hydrogenous um, Moisturizer, Gel Moisturizer. Now, <laughs> my skin isn't the best, you can tell. Um, the medication that the doctor prescribed for this flu is looking up my skin. I am... Um, I'm typically oily, combo oily, especially in the T-zone, but... Since I've been taking this medication, I have been dry like a woman suffering from menopause. Just saying, dry. So I'm hoping that even with my change in skin chemistry right now, that this foundation fares well. You know, because it's forty nine dollars and. I am going in with a sun milk. This has SPF 50. I recommend it if you are going out in the sun, always put on a sun milk. Right? We have to protect our skin. So 
I'm just putting on a little bit of this. I love the sunblock because it does not, it gives me the sun protection I need and it doesn't interfere with my makeup. Like my makeup sits well with it, you know? It's not greasy. I am going to use the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer because this again has SPF in it and I am going to the beach so I want as much sun protection as I can possibly can because we on the wrong side of 25 folks just saying yeah. and this is our primer that works typically well with all my NARS foundations so I'm just gonna rub that into the skin Now that I look like the ghost face killer, let's use the foundation. So I'm gonna shake it up because you should shake it up. No. Shake it up. It comes with a pump. For those who think it does not come with a pump, because I've had friends tell me this doesn't come with a pump. Why this do come with a pump? And I'm like, heifer. It comes with a pump. You just pull the cap off. They have been twisting the shit out. And I'm like, uh, check. It comes with a pump. It comes with a pump. So, let's try one pump first and then, and then we will move to suit. Okay, it can come anytime soon. Right. And just from, you know, this is not as runny as the all day luminous with this um, foundation, which is super duper runny, you know. And I like to put my foundation directly onto my face and then blend it out because for me, I get maximum amount of product, right? I'm using a damp beauty blender. This is from the new um, chill line. Just chill. Um, I know it's in Sephora. I've seen it also in Starlight. For those who live in Trinidad and Tobago and you want to get that color. I'm putting another pump on my face because obviously one was just not enough. And I put it on another one. You know? And we're going to build this bad boy up. Is it? But so far, the coverage is good. Now, granted, I don't have that many like skin issues in terms of skin unevenness. But I do have freckles, you know. I do have a little bit of unevenness, as you can tell. But it's covering it up. It's not, I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I would say this is medium buildable, which is typical of any NARS foundation. Right, but so far the shade is spot on. Look, look at the coverage on my eye. Not bad, not bad. Mm. See, I didn't have to like really. I'll drag it down a little bit down my neck, but I find it matches me pretty well. I will leave a link for it in the description bar below if you're interested. Um. 
I think the only place I've seen this selling locally is in Julen, so you could probably check it out there if you want to, you know. I wouldn't be able to tell you what the local price is because I paid I paid 49 US for this bad boy. This ain't cheap. This ain't cheap. Alright, so let me put on the rest of my face and then you'll follow me around and we'll do some time stamps in terms of the performance of this foundation to set it i am using the new patrick star and my club setting powder i have not touched this since i got it because that sickness just got the better of me um it is pinky looking which is interesting because i am used to either a translucent powder or a yellow powder because i have very strong golden undertones so the pink is going to be interesting I am going to tap in a little of this yeah. and I'm not going to like bake I'm gonna just set you know we're not doing big full glam to go to the beach you know just saying but we are going to set okay it's not too bad man that's not too bad. I was, I like to tell you, I was scared. I see pink and I said, Lord Father, pink. I look like Tyrone. Anybody who knows who I'm talking about in terms of Tyrone, comment in the comment section below. You are a true Dave Chappelle fan. Like myself. Tarot. Okay, so this is the finished look. This is the foundation here on my face. I do like the coverage of it. Alright, it's now close to nine o'clock in the morning, so I will be heading out shortly and I will do time checks to see how this bad boy performs in so this is what foundation looks like in the elements. Um, what's the time now? Killer teal. Oh okay. A couple hours past thus far, so so far so good still, you know. So we'll do another check-in in a couple hours and see how it holds up. This is what the foundation looks like and it's after 3 in the afternoon, so not bad considering, you know, not bad at all. I mean, there's no gloss on or anything like that, but the face is still it's a cut piece so we have, oh, wow! He no, he does not. So, yeah, so I am going to like end it here now because we are heading back. Um, yeah, that's about it. But just in case you're wondering where we are, this is where we are. Folks, Maracas look out. Alright, well, thanks for watching, you know. And please don't forget to like this video, comment in the comment section below, and subscribe for more videos. I have so many lined up, it's not funny. It's just that this illness just kind of like created a serious backlog. So I, I am putting my filming into overdrive, folks. Legit, for real. I am here, and I'm ready, and we're about to do this. So thanks for watching and until the next time, bye! What the hell it is they drilling for out there? It's like they did nothing last weekend. I guess they were jumping up. And now that I'm filming, they're drilling for oil.
If you get some oil, let me know because prices increase and we had a budget with the gas. Just saying. Cheese is put all the way to the back of the water. Amaya, stay in school, please. Stay in school. But that yeah. So I am waiting for my snow cone with liquor in it. Ooh, they feel nice and nippy. <laughs> we can get some nippy action. It is that nippy. Yes, sir. We waiting though. I find it taking long with that snow cone though. Like real long way. Like, you shaving that ice, bro? Are you getting that ice from like the Antarctic? Like really? Antarctica? Nah, that water felt like like the Atlantic Ocean cold. Like cold. Like Jack and Rose in the Atlantic Ocean cold. That's how cold Maracas Beach was. It was that cold. But, I mean, there's no need to put on the AC because it's that cold, just saying. Am I a yard fun? Look how she bundled up with the jacket, boy. Now it's real cold. My God. So what are you going to do when I carry it to the States for winter? What are you going to do? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, no. I'll pelt it on the snow. <laughs> That's a fair cut. Yes, I will it Warm up yourself. No, Long it. enough to do that. I will build it up. Well, yeah, boy. The snow going to get real long, boy. I feel he walked down to the bottom of the mountain for the snow cone. He walked a mile and a half on the tail of it, boy. Where is that snow cone? This is to be continued. <laughs> 